<laughs> Welcome back. Your time now 643. The Valley is full of hidden treasures and this weekend may be the perfect time to check some of those out. Yes, it is. Valley Por Vida Lifestyle host and executive producer Danielle Banda in studio with some family friendly places to visit. Danielle. Yeah, there are lots of hidden treasures here and it's funny because while many of us live in the valley and others have grown up in the valley, there are still so many hotspots that members of our local community don't even know exist, but they're all great locations uh, for sure. So pay attention. Now first on our list is La Sal de Rey Reserve. Now this is an interesting one because it's quite literally the only salt lake that we have here in the 956 and this means that it's a body of water that has no connection to the ocean and it has a high concentration of salt and salt sodium chloride making it extremely unique and of course Instagram worthy. Now the one that we've got here in the valley, it sits on 530 acres uh, and the area is a very hyper saline of a spot. It has 4 million tons of salt, which basically it means that the salt is called Salt of the King Lake. So lots going on there. It's a nice area though. You can walk around, you can jog, even do a little bird watching out there, as well as a cool spot to check out unique wildlife since it's right along the water's edge. And you can learn all about it by visiting the Lower Rio Grande Valley National Wildlife Refuge webpage. Now next up, I'm not sure if you've ever been here before, but if you haven't, you've got to check it out, okay? I'm talking about the Sable Palm Sanctuary, since it's a historic and very rural, rural site with the Rat Plantation House sitting on top of gorgeous local land. Now the building was constructed back in the 1800s and the surrounding areas are just breathtaking. It has a forest type of vibe with so many trees and wooded areas that are surrounding the entire property, which means it's a great spot to enjoy some natural walking trails that the valley has to offer here. Plus, you can learn a little bit about our local habitat and our wildlife as you stroll along the pathway. Plus, the sanctuary offers a unique educational center there on site, which is great for families, and you can just learn a little bit about the history of the 956. But the best part about this spot, the entire property sits along the Rio Grande River, and I mean right along the river, yards away from the U.S.-Mexico border, and let me tell you, it's a sight to see out there. But lastly, be sure to check out Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge in Alamo because it's an established land for the protection of birds who migrate to the area, and it's a beautiful landscape for sure. It's actually one of the top birding destinations in the entire country with unique views of species like green jays and they've even got chachalacas out there. Now the site also rests along the banks of the Rio Grande River and it's comprised of over 2,000 acres to explore. One of the areas in particular has an adventurous rope bridge that attracts a lot of tourists and valley residents of course for unique photo capturing qualities out there as well. Now it's a biologically diverse area with tons of butterflies too so definitely not like anything you might see anywhere else just it depicts the natural beauty of our deep south Texas region. You can log on to FWS.gov if you'd like more info on how you can visit that refuge and even check out some of their free birding tours that are going to start up in the spring. Now whether you check out the Salt Lake Reserve, the Sable Palm Sanctuary, or the Santa Ana Wildlife Refuge, we hope that you're able to experience the great outdoors and just, you know, keep shining a light on the natural ecosystem that we have here in the valley. Guys, I've got to tell you, the Sable Palm Sanctuary, um, it, it is literally along the border, so you can literally yell across, hello, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it feels like you're not even in the valley. Yeah, it feels definitely. like a forest area. Mm -hmm. It sure is. And if you visit their webpage, also they post a lot of cool stuff of the different animals mm -hmm. that they spot there, sometimes snakes, rare birds. Yeah. It's beautiful out Yeah, there. and I know I know Reina really loves to like jog and run, and so mm -hmm. I thought maybe you could go out there. I, I should. Don't invite me, though. I don't want to <laughs> jog, but you know. I, yeah, I've heard about Walk? these places. <laughs> is new about no. it, but I've never really visited. And now that you brought it up, I will definitely be visiting. Yeah, pretty cool. And I know they say that it, that area used to be how this area used to was back before yeah. the agriculture period. Yeah. And so it's interesting to see that it looked very tropical and foresty. It's actually very gorgeous. So You'll love the house. It's very historical. They've done a great job of preserving it out yeah. there. So y'all have to go. Definitely. Yeah, you won't feel like you're in the valley. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. All right, so grab your cowboy hat and put on your